Hi everyone! We are here today with an exclusive interview with Lana Onhalt, author of the newly released Aunt Laura's Attic. Lana, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us a little bit about the Aunt Laura's Attic story? The book is a series of short biographies. There are 10 incredible individuals who have slipped from fame uh, into the shadows of history. There are five men, five women. Uh, they were all famous in their day, but not well known anymore. And Aunt Laura is the storyteller that ties them all together. That's amazing. So it's educational entertainment. It's always so amazing when literature brings lesser known historical figures to the foreground and encourages us to know more about history. And what a fascinating original storyline. Where did the inspiration come from for writing this interweaving story? Um, eon ago, I started writing about my Aunt Laura, who was a favorite aunt. And then, of course, it got put on the side, and I had family and laundry and children. Uh, <laughs> And then as um, my teaching career, it was um, researching and finding interesting facts. So when I ran across a few of them, I needed to know all about them. My curiosity would not let me rest. And so I started putting it together and searching for more people and reading more and more about their incredible lives. That's wonderful. I can tell you put a lot of love and research into this book. What do you want readers to take away from this story? I would like people to know about how many people perseverance, sacrifice, determination, helped change the world for a better place, who gave so much of themselves and slipped into history and left us with so much um, that we wouldn't have otherwise. Wow. That's really powerful. We love good stories that show how every life matters and every person can make a difference just like you. You're very philanthropic with your time. Can you tell us about some of your volunteer work that you do in your spare time? Um, I'm a volunteer docent at our governor's mansion and at a museum in a nearby community of a pre-Civil War home and uh, a fascinating family who did wonderful things. And then volunteering, I do play the harp for um, nursing homes, hospice center, and um, churches in various places. Very inspiring, Lana. So tell us, who is the target audience for Aunt Laura's Attic? I believe people who enjoy biographies would be interested. Uh, trivia pursuit, there's a lot of little unknown details. And people who don't have a lot of time to read, because each chapter, each book is rather independent of the others, so you can pick it up, put it down, they range from 20 to 50 pages per chapter, so half hour to an hour you can complete uh, the life of someone and then pick it up again when you have time. So Lana, tell us about the message and the key takeaway from writing this book. I suppose the knowledge that I myself gained about the people that I knew very little of. Their name had passed by and I thought that was interesting. And I didn't find anyone that wasn't extremely dedicated to what they have done. Lana, do you have any final words for our audience members watching today? Make the best of your life. Everyone has wonderful gifts that make a difference some on small scales that ripple and ripple as a pebble in a pond, and some who have left an, a larger mark on history, but we've all contributed. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Lana, and thank you guys for watching.